¡Bien, bien, 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 bien! bien ¡Vean cómo el tren se está moviendo! How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some mysterious videos that have left the experts baffled. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more scary content. Just like this. Our first entry comes from one of our viewers who submitted an eerie photo on our Slapped Ham Facebook group. In 2012, Sandra Lyles Goldsbury and her family were exploring the Ha Ha Tonka State Park in Missouri when they took a series of photos to remember the day by. They took a bunch of snaps in quick succession and didn't think much of it. That was until they reviewed them. The family was stunned at what they saw. In this first one, you can see a group of children smiling for the camera. There's nothing strange about the pic at all. However, in this one, taken just seconds later, something strange can be seen in the background. It looks like a face with a large outstretched hand looming towards the camera. Our community members were freaked out by the image. One viewer, Tina Gerd, enlarged the image and brightened it up for all to see. Not far from where this photo was taken stands the abandoned ruins of the Ha Ha Tonka Castle, an area of the state park that many believe to be cursed and heavily haunted. In 1905, wealthy Kansas City businessman Robert McClure Snyder Sr. began construction on a grand stone mansion that was modelled after European castles of the 16th century. Set high atop a rocky bluff, the sprawling manor was said to be a beautiful retreat for the family to enjoy. However, less than a year into its construction in 1906, Snyder was killed in a terrible car accident. Snyder's two sons took over the project and completed the castle just before the great stock market crash of the 1920s. Then in 1942, the home was gutted by fire, leaving nothing but a stone facade atop the cliff face. Due to their tragic history, many believe the Snyder family were cursed and that that curse now lingers in the ruins of the old castle today. In recent years, tourists have reported eerie shadow figures moving among the ruins. One hiker claims to have seen a full-bodied apparition floating on the property. Some say it's the ghost of Snyder himself trapped eternally in the rubble of the doomed family castle. So, given that this photo was taken not too far from the so-called cursed castle, could it be that we're seeing the spectral remains of old man Snyder himself, reaching out in grim terror, shackled by the family curse for all eternity? In February 2022, something truly bizarre was caught on a security camera in Xicalapan de Juarez, about 20 miles east of Mexico City. The footage was uploaded to YouTube by Malson TV. Take a look. The camera overlooks an empty lot. Three stray dogs are spooked by an unknown floating object that hovers about the area. Here's the object through an infrared filter. It looks to be an amorphous blob that drifts through the air. It 
Initially, people thought the footage was edited with CGI. However, the fact that the dogs interact with the object seems to discredit this theory. Some comments speculated whether the object is alien in nature, perhaps a craft of some kind collecting data here on Earth. Of course, there's a possibility it could just be a drone or perhaps a deflated balloon, but the amorphous quality of the object casts some doubt on this theory. It's definitely a strange piece of footage, and as of yet, there's been no official word on what this object really could be. This next bizarre little clip was uploaded to Instagram by Strange Activities. The footage has been dividing the comment section on what it's actually showing. Take a look and see what you think. We can see an unknown creature clinging to a branch out the front of a house. Some commenters were calling it an undocumented cryptid, a creature that's yet to be classified by modern science. However, the majority of comments thought it had to be CGI, which most likely is the case. I have to say though, whoever made this really should be working in top tier Hollywood movies, as the animation is outstanding. Sticking with mysterious creatures, although this next one is almost certainly not CGI. It was uploaded to the Facebook group Weird, Fantastic and Odd Things by Max Jack. This bizarre looking snake was found in Thailand by a local resident who took it home and fed it fish. The snake looks to be covered in green fur. Some comments suggested it might be some kind of algae growing on the snake's skin. The person who discovered the bizarre snake is going to hand the creature over to authorities for research and identification. So until then, all we can do is marvel at this mysterious animal. If you can't get enough of the old slapped ham, we publish daily spooky videos over on our TikTok account. There's a link in the description box below. Check us out and hit that follow button. Paranormal investigator Lalo Escalante is dedicated to exploring some of the most notorious locations in Mexico. Whether it's abandoned buildings, sites of urban legend, or cemeteries, more often than not, Lalo Escalante captures some really freaky stuff on camera. In this episode, he's exploring an old graveyard. Many locals believe the property is riddled with tormented spirits, and often report sightings of shadowy figures lurking in the dead of night and objects moving seemingly all on their own. Disembodied screams are also said to be a common occurrence. It isn't long into the exploration before the OP begins hearing things in the distance. Hola. Oi, oi. Abre una reja. Moments later, as the camera holder's torch begins to flicker, he asks if there's any spirits nearby to make themselves known. That's when this happens. Si una entidad se quiere manifestar, dame una señal. ¿Alguna entidad se encuentra aquí? ¿Qué 
pedo? Watching that again, a nearby tap mysteriously turns itself on, scaring the cat away. He then turns the tap off, but seconds later, it turns itself back on. Later, the uploader explores another part of the cemetery when something eerie is caught on camera. Watch. Somehow, the toy appears to move on its own. He even checks to see if there's batteries, but there's none there. Vean, por favor, que no estoy desenfocando esto. Se está moviendo el tren. Dios mío de mi vida. Vean. No tiene pilas, vean. After hearing numerous strange sounds, the explorer is soon confronted by a terrifying sight. Take a look. Se ve que tiene muchísimos años. Mira. Here it is again, slowed down. There appears to be the figure of a woman moving to the right. The OP is so freaked out, he begins to recite a prayer in Latin. Pater Noster. Before long, yet more strange activity is recorded. Quiero que te presentes. Preséntate de nuevo. The candle seems to move by itself. De nuevo. The camera holder then decides to go investigate the tap once more, the place where all the eerie activity began in the first place. Eventually, the noises and bizarre activity become too much for the explorer and the video abruptly ends. So what do you make of this eerie encounter? Could this old cemetery in Mexico really be haunted? The moving toy, the tap, the strange vanishing woman, it all certainly makes you wonder whether something supernatural is at play here. But ultimately, I'll let you be the judge. Here's another bizarre little clip that was uploaded to Reddit by user Exastican. I won't preface this one, just marvel in its strangeness. As you can see, a car's dash cam has caught the moment a styrofoam box falls out the back of an open truck. Not once, but twice. Well, that's about it. Something about a slipstream and science. Now let's get back to the ghosties.
This clip was sent to us by one of our viewers, Natalie Jean Bonovich. It's a home video that Natalie's brother-in-law took while renovating his house to put on the market. He was using the video to show all the work that he had done on the building. He didn't actually review the video until a year later, but that's when he spotted something in one of the windows. Take a look. While in real time, the light in the front left window looks like a reflection. But if you play it in slow motion, it starts to look a little more mysterious. Some viewers think it looks like the light is coming from inside the house. The brother-in-law said that while living there, it always felt like there was a ghost lurking nearby. He also later found out that the previous owner, an elderly woman, passed away in the home. The comment section was almost 50-50 divided on this sighting. Some say it's just a reflection, others think there's more to it. So where do you sit on this one? Let us know down below. Before we take a look at a freaky photo one of our viewers sent in, remember to hit that subscribe button, tickle that little bell icon there, and then turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be notified every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Our last entry was submitted to our Facebook group by Romy L. Romy was sitting around the house one day when she felt like something was watching her. She took a few quick snaps to try and document the strange feeling. At first, the photos don't appear to show all that much. However, on close inspection, there is indeed something there. If you zoom in, there appears to be a transparent face. There's a faint hint of eyes, a nose and a mouth. It almost looks like there's tears just under its left eye. Romy left us a message saying, The photo was taken shortly after the birth of my daughter. My pregnancy test was on the first anniversary of my father-in-law's death. Maybe he wanted to tell me something. So what do you think? Could this be a family member trying to make contact from the beyond? Or is it all just pareidolia? Until further info comes to hand, this sighting will have to remain a mystery. Now, if you want to see some more scary videos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, we have a massive paranormal playlist there that'll keep you entertained for hours and hours. Leave us a comment down below, smash that thumbs up button, and that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.